Please. Please. You must help me. Calm down. What's the problem? Who are you? My name is Chris Squire. I am in a famous rock band called Yes. Maybe you've heard of us. Yes. Okay, I think so. But why are you here? What brings you to the Chuck E. Cheese corporate offices? I need you to do something for me. I need you to build me a robot. A robot? Yes, a robot. What do you call them? Your animatronics. How did you get back here? I'm Chris Squire. I have my ways. Clearly. And I'm backed up against a wall. So I'm desperate. You don't want a wild animal backed into a corner. You might get hurt. Do you know what they call me? Easy now. Nobody's hurting anybody. The fish. They call me the fish. You don't want to rub me the wrong way. You know, because of the scales. Okay, slow down. So why do you need a robot? They keep breaking. What's your name? Gerald. They keep breaking Gerald. They are getting weaker, not stronger. We need one who is built to last. Who will stand there and do what he is told, when he is told. Need one? What? What keeps breaking? Our singers. First, John Anderson's lung passages broke down, or something. He almost didn't make it. That's horrible. Is he okay? Yes, yes. He's fine now. But he can't keep up. So we got a new one from a cover band. His name was Benoit David. What happened to him? Another breathing thing. These guys have trouble breathing. I don't know what it is. So we found another guy. John Davison. He was American. What happened to that one? Something called intractable hiccups. He would get on stage and the hiccups would begin, and it would take days to stop. I've never seen such a thing before. Did you try scaring him? Sometimes that works. Yes, one time we told him we were thinking about doing a special tour celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Big Generator album. But that just made the hiccups worse. I would think that before you would do anything drastic, like replacing your singers with a robot, you might try John Anderson again. Why don't you try to work that out? Out of the question. We've gone too far with this. We need to make this work without him. But your lead singers keep breaking. Don't you think this might be a sign? Maybe it's karma. You seem to be tempting fate. I don't think inviting a robot into the mix is a good idea. Karma? Fuck, karma. We're yes. Go sell that karma bullshit elsewhere. This is a business, not a fucking charity. We're already a touring machine. So let's just make it official. So, what models do you have? Anything we could work with? Okay, well, what style of singing? What voice range? We are different models, but each specializes in a different style of singing. John Anderson was an alto tenor. So, a high voice. Like Giddy Lee from Rush? Yes, like Getty Lee. We had an experimental Giddy Lee model in the 80s called a Giddy Leap. It was a frog. Maybe we can customize it for you. Okay, yeah. Let's look at that. It plays bass too. That could be a problem. We already have a bass player. It plays keyboards too. Can you make it so it just plays the keyboards? That would actually solve another one of our problems. A singing mechanical frog that plays keyboards. Sure, why not? I like the amphibious theme. I think we can work with that. I'll have Roger Dean, our stage designer, contact you. I have to warn you. The Giddy Leap model had some problems. It had this tongue that would flick out and grab flies from the microphone stand. But it malfunctioned and a child was hurt. That's okay, I don't care about children. Are you sure this is the right move? We need to get back on the road. I have bills to pay and many pie holes to feed. Yes, this is the right move. Okay, can I help you with anything else? Yes. I got these tickets from that whack-a-mole thing outside. It gave me an idea for ticket sales. Who should I talk to? 
that's down the hallway, next door. Thank you.